What's up, family? Man, I want to have a heart to heart. Today, we're talking about friend or foe. Friend versus foe. Man, it's a trip because it's hard to know nowadays who's your real friend and who's your enemy. It's hard to know nowadays. It's people that's been your friend for a long time. And the whole time, they were doing some shiesty, grimy ass shit behind your back. You know what I mean? Sleeping with your woman, sleeping with your dude, trying to hook up with your kids. You know what I mean? Taking your money, lying on you, just doing the most. And you didn't even know it. You didn't even know it. Talking about friend or foe. Friend or foe. So many times we've had family members that told us they hug, they gave us hugs, told us they loved us, and we'll do the whoop. And the whole time they setting us up for failure. The whole time they setting us up to be God. You know what I mean? Man, they're our number one enemy, and we don't even know it. We didn't even know it. That your sister was your greatest enemy. Your sister was doing the most behind your back or is your brother sometimes it's your dad sometimes it's your mom it could be a cousin sometimes it could be a kid your kid one that you birthed and brought into this world becomes your biggest enemy talking about friend or foe and so often because this is not going to be a long video so often we're always looking externally for our greatest enemy and our greatest friend. We're always looking at, man, who has the potential to hurt me the most? Who do I need to hook up with, to partner with? Who do I need to hook up with to have as an ally? We're always looking for those types of connections. Never understanding our greatest friend, our greatest foe. It's us. It's us. You say that you can't trust people, and the only person you can trust is you. And I've heard so many people tell me that in counseling, coaching sessions. And I had to pull their chain on that. It's like, hold up, time out, time out, time out. You're your greatest friend? You're your greatest ally? And they was like, yeah, I don't fucking trust people. And people are so fucking da 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 Okay. Why do you trust you? And they're like, what do you mean, why do I trust me? They, 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 they always got my back. And they, 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 I'll never do anything. Oh, okay. So why are you doing dope? You know dope is fucking up your internal system, right? You know dope is fucking up your, your body, fucking up your mind, right? You do understand that, right? You're your greatest friend. You're your greatest ally. And you're always out there getting fucking drunk, killing your fucking brain cells. You're your greatest friend. You're your greatest ally. And you're out there sleeping with everybody you fucking can. Not, on this, not understanding that you're hooking up and connecting with low vibrating frequencies. And the potential to get AIDS or any other thing that's out there right now. You do understand that, right? But you're your greatest friend. You're your greatest ally. Nobody got your back like you, right? But you're always putting yourself in... Suspect positions. But you're your greatest ally. You're always tearing yourself down. You're always telling telling yourself that you're stupid, you're dumb, and woo -doo -doo, you're fat, you're ugly, and da 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 you're not good enough. And so you gotta do all this extra shit to compensate for it. But you're your greatest ally. Tell my friend or foe. You're your greatest ally. And you keep telling yourself that you can't get past this. You're your greatest ally. 
You're your best friend. But you keep eating all this toxic shit. You're your best friend. You keep consuming this fucking poison. You're sitting here smoking all this fucking shit, taking in all these fucking chemicals that's fucking up your body, but you're your best friend. You're sitting here vaping like it's, like it's a fucking dick and you suck your dick. And to each day, I don't do what you do. But don't come tell me you're your best fucking friend and you're sitting here putting in all these fucking poisons and chemicals into your body. And then you get mad because somebody else sold you out. Fuck, you've been selling yourself off from the gate. You've been dogging yourself from the very beginning. You've been tearing yourself down from the beginning. And you have the audacity to get mad because somebody else betrayed you. You've been betraying your, your own self from the fucking beginning. I'm a friend of all. Friend of all. See, it's easy for us to sit back and look at other people and dog other people out and say the other people, they've done you wrong and we'll do the whoop and da 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 and da 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 and all this other bullshit we come up with. Why motherfuckers mistreat us? Why motherfuckers disrespect us? Then if you look at it from their perspective, if you look at it from another angle and think about, damn, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm not exercising. I'm overweight. I'm malnourished. I'm not eating healthy. I'm not eating right. I eat a bunch of fucking sugar. I drink a bunch of fucking toxic shit that I shouldn't be drinking. I'm fucking up my immune system. I'm fucking up my brain. I'm doing far more damage to myself than any of these other motherfuckers could do to me. I don't give a damn what they've done to you. You are doing far more damage to yourself than what they could do to you. Come on, friend or foe. If you really loved yourself, if you really loved yourself like you said you did, you wouldn't be consuming all that shit. If you really loved yourself like you say you do, you wouldn't be drinking all that fucking Kool-Aid and all that other fucking sodas and all that other toxic ass shit. If you really loved yourself like you say you do, you wouldn't be smoking cigarettes and weed and smoking on that fu that fucking bait. If you really loved yourself, you can say what the fuck you want to say. But if the truth be told, you don't really like you. You ain't really your friend. That's why you're putting in those fucking poisons into your body. You're killing your fucking self. You're destroying yourself. That's why you don't exercise at all. That's why you're allowed yourself to be so overweight and won't do a damn thing about it. And they say, well, people got to accept me for who I am. Yeah, we do. Do what the fuck you do. I don't give two fucks about what you do. But don't call me and tell me that I mean, people just don't like me and da, 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 my friends are da, da, da. I don't want to hear that shit. I don't give a fuck about what these other people are doing to you. Let's talk about what the fuck you're doing to yourself. We got to grow up. We have to grow up. We have to grow up. Tell my friend or foe. Stop treating yourself the way you do. Stop mistreating yourself. 
Stop tearing yourself down. Stop saying that you're not acceptable, you're not loved, and you're not valued, and woo do do you're stupid and dumb, and da-da-da. Stop saying you're crazy, and da-da-da-da. Stop saying all these stupid, negative, toxic-ass things about yourself, first and foremost. Let's start there. Let's understand why you keep tearing yourself down. Let's understand why you keep sabotaging yourself. I'm a friend of folk. Are you really your friend? Are you really your friend? Do you want other people treating you the way you treat yourself? You want other people giving you poisons. You want other people tearing you down. You want other people doubting you. You don't trust yourself. You don't even like yourself. And then you get mad because other people don't trust you. Other people don't like you. Make that shit make sense. So it's perfectly okay for you to destroy your life. It's perfectly okay for you to poison your life with processed food. All that burger crack and McDonald's and all that other toxic ass shit out there that's not even fucking really food. You're eating and consuming that shit, not understanding what the fuck you're putting into your body. You're sitting there, and I get, I, I, I like sweets too. I like carrot cake and banana pudding and peach cobbler. I like all that stuff too. But what I'm not going to do is sit there and eat that shit on fucking daily basis. What I'm not going to do is sit there and eat a bunch of fucking donuts. What I'm not going to do is eat that shit on a fucking weekly basis. You are what you eat. You are what you consume. The question is, what are you really fucking consuming? You can't even pronounce the fucking chemicals that's coming into your body from those fucking babes. You have no fucking idea what that shit is. You have no idea how all that fucking white sugar is fucking up your body. You are what you eat. All the negative toxic shit that you consume through quote unquote music, through reality shows, through watching these stupid ass, ignorant ass TikTok videos and YouTube videos. You consume all that trash because if the truth be told, you're nothing more than trash yourself. You're a fucking garbage can. You're a fucking dumpster. That's all you become in life. Is a fucking garbage can. Full of fucking trash. You're trash and everybody else is trash. And they bring it to you with all that fucking drama and negativity and gossip. You're consumed with fucking trash. You listen to the fucking news. You're caught up in the fucking politics, the hip hop and all these other stupid scandals. You're consuming all this shit. Because you're a fucking trash can. Friend or foe. If you were your, if you were your friend, if you loved yourself, if you valued yourself, you wouldn't accept all this trash. Trash in the food, trash in what you could drink, trash in what you listen to, trashy people, trashy music, 
trashy videos. Friend or foe? Man, hope I said something to encourage you, to inspire you, to even challenge your way of thinking. We have to grow up. We have to grow up. We have to be real with ourselves. We have to be honest and transparent with ourselves. I love you guys. Happy healing. Peace.